I was about six or seven and me and my brother were really, really into Famous Five books, Secret Seven books. Good. We just wanted to be detectives. Yeah. And we lived in South East London, so there was crime. Uh, <laughs> we thought that we'd get some walkie-talkies. As soon as we got our walkie-talkies, we were like, right, we're on the beat. We started <laughs> Just following people home. Just following <laughs> people home. Me and my brother, side by side as well, which is not the point of walkie-talkies. <laughs> <laughs> Communicating like... Really close. Do, yes. do, you see, do you see them? Do you see the suspect? And it's like, yeah, I see the suspect. Just there. Um, <laughs> but that's stalking, so, that, so I'm a piece of shit for that. <laughs> and, um, and then one day, uh, we were walking down our estate and we saw a Border Collie dog. Timmy the dog from Famous Five? Not... No. <laughs> Not quite. No. Different time. OK. And also fiction. <laughs> <laughs> and the dog was perfectly fine in its front garden of its home. Um, <laughs> but me and my brother were convinced that this dog was lost. So... <laughs> so we took the dog. Um, and this time we'd worked out how walkie-talkies work. So I had the dog like that and my brother was on the other side of the Worth Road and I was going up to people going, is this your dog? And they were like, no. And I'd be like, Shh, negative, this isn't their dog. <laughs> and then, so we just did that for a few hours. And then we thought, oh, we can't find the owners of the dog. So we returned the dog back to its home. <laughs> uh, we saw the whole family, including the kids, crying. Of course they were. Oh, like, so where's sweet. our dog? They're like, oh, where's Stuart? So me and my brother turn up with Stuart the dog. And they were like, oh, my God, you found Stuart. You found him. Oh, my God, thank you so much. We'll walk you home. And we were like, oh. yeah, that was our first case. <laughs> <laughs>